Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Jeebs. I am an old media composer and uh, you are here at the Decomposer World Music Lounge. And uh, I'm really enjoying, you know I've only got a few videos on this channel, but my quest on this channel is to listen to music from around the world and be able to uh, be exposed to wonderful production, voices, melodies, composition, arrangement, producing, songwriting, engineering and kind of get out of the bubble uh, <laughs> excuse me of my other channel which is uh, hardcore heavy metal rock and roll and uh, if you want to check that out that link will be down below or at least down on my main page anyhow today I am now going into India apparently now this is a very long title please forgive me I don't know how to enunciate um, what we have here but uh, I believe uh, the name of the song is Dil Ko Medi. You know what? I'm not going to try to pronounce this because I, I know I'm going to make a mistake. But please be kind. Perhaps uh, help me out with the name and the names of the artists. Um, maybe Ro, Ro Jing and Bandana Kandelawal. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. Please. I'm old. I'm trying. Uh, well, so anyhow, so I look forward to this. I want to thank you guys for your comments. Everyone has been really kind. To this old guy uh, because of my <laughs> I, I've, I've done stuff from India I mean from uh, Indonesia Japan Korea well and American obviously and this is my <coughs> excuse me first one from India so you know I'm bound to get the names wrong anyhow blah 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 me 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 let's do this all right हाय आदिल बहुत टाइम हुआ मिले नहीं है तीन दिन बाद मेरी शादी है क्या हम आखिरी बार मिल सकते हैं उन्हीं जगह जहां हम पहले मिलते थे हर बेवफाई पे मरते रहे हम तुझसे मगर दिल का प्यार ना हुआ कम दिल को मेरे दुखाने से पहले कहीं और दिल लगाने से पहले क्या मुझे याद किया क्या कभी प्यार किया क्या मुझे याद किया कभी प्यार किया दिल को मेरे all right, um, I have to stop and, uh, you know, uh, I'm really, it's sometimes it's difficult for me to do these first time listen reactions because when I really get pulled into a song, I forget what I'm doing and listening, you know, for a purpose of doing this video. But in this case, um, I was really mesmerized by the tone quality of his voice. There are a few things here that I really, really love about this. Um, now I'm not I'm not a, a eth ethnomusicologist. I did not study music, I, and and this breakdown is not theory. This breakdown is from here as a composer and, and all the years that I've done work in media composition. So I don't have a lot of deep knowledge about cultural melodies and stuff. But what I love about what I'm hearing and what I'm a little familiar with in in the culture are the beautiful inflection and and, and uh, dynamics and nuances in the voice. Every culture seems to have their own um, melodic representation, something special that that kind of denotes a culture's worth of performance you know many many generations sometimes you hear wide vibratos or sometimes you hear um, a unique 
uh, bends, and, bends and tweaks in a melody that could be in a contemporary composition, you know, and being used in a now pop current contemporary composition, but you could tell was pulled from generational uh, uses of um, melodic expression in the culture. Um, one of the things uh, that I want to bring to light is the beautiful hall. It's like a cathedral hall sound on his voice with a slight delay that gives it this ominous ambiance and space to it. And it, I, I, I'm trying not to watch the video and because I don't know the language. I kind of, I kind of, I obviously don't know what's being said there. So I have to rely on treating the, um, the vocalist as an instrument, which is what I normally do anyhow when I do these videos. But that, that tone in his voice with that long ambience, with the piano playing in the background, starting it off, seems to me like it's a very heartfelt, painful pulling track. I'm not too sure. Um, then actually gliding into more of a trap sounding percussive um, arrangement as they step it up into the, you know, the composers, the arrangers step up their compositions, I can't help but notice some traditional sounding percussion in the background. And uh, once again, I don't know the names of the, of, the, of the drums and stuff, which is really, I'm kind of bobo for that because I just scored a film called The Last Conception. Ironically, it's a Los Angeles based movie, but has to do with an Indian family um, who's a descendant of Buddha and their first time in America, but then one of the daughters is fine, you know, ex expresses that she's gay, so there's internal strife going on, but it's very lighthearted. But when I did my composition, I utilized um, some more m traditional Indian um, uh, percussive um, uh, instruments, but for some reason it's slipping me. That's because I'm old. I'm allowed to slip a little bit, okay? <laughs> and then the final thing I want to say before I move on is something else that's beautiful about this is that each culture has a very unique way of speaking using tones in their mouth, you know, and or how they might pronounce a series of letters that give them their own unique style of enunciation. And I love how smooth that is here. I don't know what he's saying, but the smoothness of that reminds me, at least in this performance, of a soulful saxophone kind of a legato saxophone performance. And there are a couple notes that he hits that are very high and beautiful little, you know, um, little fills in there. But anyhow, I went really long on this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get us back into this and relax, but uh, I really love this. This is beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I just have to say that was a beautiful musical breakdown. So I don't know if the same songwriting structure applies in the songs around the world. That's why I love this channel, because I'm hearing a different song structure compared to, let's just say, Western music styles of how songs are composed. So, and because I don't know the language, I try to pull what the hook is based on arrangements, but I love that instrumental breakdown. Nice breathing space for you to kind of regroup, nice and ambient. All the instruments are in the mix, very well placed. Uh, that one instrument that took the lead, I, I don't know the name of it, please forgive me. It sounded like a, 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 an accordion style instrument. And I'm probably wrong, please be gentle, please teach me. Um, I love that breathiness. Now coming back into the piano was a beautiful switch up. I, I was expecting the change, but not pulling us back into this journey like, like that, bringing us into a space, but I probably more to come to be surprised probably. It's a 
दिल को लगा तू मेरा है हर झूठ पे भी तेरे दिल ने कहा तू मेरा है इतने करीब था दिल को लगा तू मेरा है हर झूठ पे भी तेरे दिल ने कहा तू मेरा है बदला मैं तेरी खातिर तूने था जैसा चाहा तूने क्यों बदला फिर अपना दिल ये बदला दिल को मेरे दिल को मेरे रुलाने से पहले कहीं और दिल the end of the song or the video yes I think so yes it is <laughs> all right something else I want to uh, bring up really quick uh, before I sign off two other things <clears throat> I want to just so circle back to the vocal performance of this artist um, I love the little fried sections I mean when he throws it into that slight distortion you know like any instrument that we play I don't care what it is a little short of a synthesizer uh, but even that you can mess around with and, and play around and tweak, you know, frequencies and stuff. But, but in the live organic aspect of performing an instrument, um, dynamics is paramount in whatever instrument you learn, especially the voice. Now, the voice is attached to a human being, which in most cases becomes the front of a band or the lead or the main artist. But for me, when I listen to it, it's these little nuances in the voice and the texture of the voice that also brings a whole nother level of performance. Now, remember, I'm listening to this through my ears as an old composer, but it must be a tremendous um, uh, experience for a first time listener. Uh, this moved me. See, I'm old enough to remember beautiful melodies and composition, you know, from the 60s and the 70s and the types of music that I worked on when I was younger. My father, my uncle, all of us. And um, uh, so I, 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 I pull more of that energy in when I hear beautiful pieces of work like this. And something else I want to mention before I split, I love the bass arrangement on this. Really feel that bass. That bass owns a particular spot in the, in the tonal zone you know, from zero to 16K beyond, we can't hear. Um, and the bass is so important. And I do have these headsets, our monitor, you know, style, studio style headsets, you know, these AKGs, they've been around forever. And they're, um, you know, professional studio uh, grade uh, headsets. But nowadays with technology and new sounds and stuff, those, those sub basses, those kind of sub pleb style basses there uh, resonate and, and are, and new, newer speaker systems and stuff responds a little differently. So I'm assuming that that bass really warms it up and really guides you through. Because to me, that's the pull. The pull of every song somewhere has got to be a lower, a low arrangement. Whether it's the one string in a guitar, even if you're doing a guitar, uh, you know, performance and stuff, you kind of reach for that, you know, if you have the ability to have that in an arrangement. I love the bass arrangement in this track. Anyhow, that was very long. And uh, if anybody's still here, all right. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. Uh, I'm moving slowly with this channel, but thank you for your support, subscriptions, sharing the video. Uh, please let me know if there's any other artists, which I'm sure there's plenty, uh, in, uh, uh, in India. And, uh, and not just, um, I mean, I'm trying to keep this to more like a cultural pop channel. I do have some uh, metal actually from India on my other channel and I'm going to be doing some heavy metal on my other channel 
from India, Pakistan, and so on and so forth. But um, thanks for hanging out on the journey. I appreciate it. All the subs, all the comments. Mahalo. All right. <laughs>